Just last season, the Lakers won the championship, and most fans would expect the Lakers to keep their same roster or maybe even lose some of their players. And to be honest, they did lose a lot of their players, but they got a lot more better ones, which leads me to believe that they will definitely win the 2021 NBA championship. And in today's video, I will be discussing why their new acquisitions will help them win the new 2021 NBA championship. Please like this video to show support and help my channel grow. Subscribe to the channel to help me reach my goal of 500 subscribers before the end of 2020. Comment on this video to start a conversation with me and play that intro. Last year, the Lakers' biggest weakness was their role players alongside LeBron and Anthony Davis. They had to depend on players like Caruso, Rondo, KCP, or Markeith Morris for help along with others, and Danny Green, let me not forget him. But to give those guys credit, they helped enough to help the Lakers win the championship. But I think that a lot of those guys were super inconsistent and with a lot of teams improving this offseason, the Lakers need to improve as well. And improve is what they did when they signed Montrez Harrell to come off the bench. Montrez last season won 6 men of the year. And they also got him a solid deal for only $19 million for 2 years. Which is a bargain and an amazing deal. Montrez will bring a great scoring presence to the Lakers and will easily score 16 to 17 points off the bench for them. I doubt he could play well alongside AD, but he would be good for when AD isn't on the court. And he just straight up gives them another option on offense and another offensive threat. And I know he isn't a good defender, but we can't act like the Lakers don't have the best defender in the NBA in AD. And overall, them getting the 6th man of the year can never be used as an L. Not only did the Lakers get the 6th man of the year in Harrell, they also got the runner up in the award in Dennis Schroeder and all they had to give up was Danny Green and a pick. You can make the argument losing Danny is a positive due to his lackluster shooting in the playoffs. Dennis will be amazing off of the Lakers bench because he can put up a nice 17 to 18 points and he can play well alongside LeBron and AD because he is a great ball handler who can create plays for everyone and is a great playmaker. Dennis is not a sharp shooter but he is a capable shooter you can't leave open which will space the floor. Dennis and Harrell will instantly give the Lakers a great bench because their two man game will be very hard to guard. Just imagine the pick and roll between them two, that is unguardable. Dennis can also create his own shot from mid range so that gives them another option on offense. Lakers also got Marc Gasol through signing him to a 2 year $14 million deal which is an okay deal. Gasol hasn't been the same player for the last 2 years and he has been on a serious decline but even though he's been on a decline he still is very valuable. He could still be a great defensive player in the post and against teams like Denver and others who have good big men he can be very key for them winning. Gasol can be a stretch big and I think he would do well along AD because AD can post up and Gasol can stretch the floor unlike Dwight Howard. Gasol might be the slowest player in the NBA and he could be a liability on the perimeter but I think the Lakers are versatile enough on defense to hide Gasol somewhat. Gasol is also one of the best passing big men and he could be an extra playmaker for the Lakers which is always a positive. The Lakers also got Wesley Matthews, who I think could be a good replacement for Danny Green due to him being just as good on defense and although Matthews is a slightly worse shooter, he is not a bad one and can space the floor. Wesley also has capabilities handling the ball, but he definitely will not be an ISO type player, but just a floor spacer. The Lakers also got Jordan Bell and Alonzo McKinney who aren't completely trash with Bell being an athletic center and McKinney being an okay defender and an okay shooter as a wing. While I was making this video, the Lakers have just signed Marquise Morris to a one year minimum contract. 
Markeef helps make their bench stronger because he is a solid defender at the four who shot really well in the playoffs and he has some ball handling abilities. The Lakers lost a lot of role players such as Danny Green, JaVale McGee, Rajon Rondo, Avery Bradley, and Dwight Howard. But Danny Green was traded to OKC for Schroeder and I don't believe they will miss him that much because he was terrible in the playoffs and they also got Wesley Matthews to replace him and match his production. In terms of them losing Rajon Rondo, they acquired Dennis Schroeder who I think can be significantly better than Rondo due to his shooting and scoring ability. The Lakers won the championship without Avery Bradley so he wasn't a huge factor to them winning the rings and the Lakers lost their two big man duo of JaVale and Dwight but I think Gasol is a good replacement for Dwight and Montrez is a good replacement for JaVale. Although Gasol isn't as athletic and as good of a shot blocker as Howard, he is just as good on defense due to his IQ on defense and his size. Gasol is also a better passer and shooter. And he was good in the regular season, but he struggled in last year's postseason, but I still think he could be good. JaVale was good in the regular season, but in the playoffs, his minutes decreased because Dwight was just playing better than him. But although Trez is a way worse defender than JaVale, he is way more skilled on offense, which makes up for it. The Lakers have lost many solid players, and they have replaced them with better players who can play the, the similar role. And before you forget, the Lakers also have Kyle Kuzma, and they just resigned KCP, so their depth is just insane. The teams that will try and challenge the Lakers are teams like the Clippers, Denver, and maybe the Warriors, but none of those teams have star power or the depth to compete with LA. Next year will be LeBron's 18th year, and it will be reasonable to expect a decline, but not a significant one. And I expect to see LeBron as still a top 3 player in the league. And although AD didn't resign yet, we all know he's coming back for likely a 2 year 80 million deal so that it lines up with the end of his contract. The Lakers could have a potential starting lineup of LeBron at the 1, KCP at the 2, Wesley Matthews at the 3, AD at the 4, and Gasol at the 5. Everyone in that lineup is able to shoot and no one player is a defensive liability and they all are above average defenders. Off the bench, they could have Dennis Schroeder, Montrez Harrell, Markeith Morris, Kyle Kuzma, and Alex Caruso. That is a really good bench and arguably might be the best one in the league. So to conclude, as of right now, the Lakers should be the early 2021 championship favorites. Anyways guys, that's it for the video. Please like the video to show support. Subscribe to the channel to help me reach 500 subscribers before the end of 2020. Comment on this video to start a conversation with me. And check these two videos up above if you like this one. And I'm out.